of you to please stand in the name of the triune god god the father god the son god the holy spirit i declare the 96th convocation open let us pray almighty god our most gracious heavenly father we come to your throne of grace this evening lifting our hearts to you to the king of kings and the lord of lords the one who has called us for this special ministry lord as we celebrate your faithfulness as we commemorate the rich legacy what we have received this evening as we start our 96th convocation we pray that lord you will guide us all through help us o oh lord in everything so that each one of us would be blessed and sent by your presence to our respective places we commit all of us into your hands all glory unto your holy name through jesus christ our lord we pray amen please be seated
Respected Master, Mr. Dr. Anil Kumar John Serrant, the speaker of the 96th Convocation, Dr. Celia Yone, Head of Dust, Unit Theology and Ecumenism, ENW Germany, the speaker of Commemoration Service, Father Dr. K. M. George, Renewn Rouser, Orthodox Theological Seminary, Kotea, members of the Council of Sarambur College, the convener of the Senate and principal of Sarambur College, Dr. Vasan Lura, the registrar of the Senate of Sarambur College, Reverend Dr. Limathrullah Langkumar, treasurer of the Senate, Reverend Dr. Chilkali Vasan Darao, chairperson of Academic Council, Reverend Dr. Sunil Michael Kali, chairperson of the Research Committee, Reverend Dr. Selvam Robertson, Offices of the Senate, Members of the Award, Members of the Senate, Principals, Graduates, Distinguished Guests, Overseas Partners, Ladies and Gentlemen, I have great joy in welcoming you all to the 96th Convocation of the Sarambur College in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We congratulate and welcome all graduates who will receive their degrees after completing their studies in different institutions affiliated with Senate of Sarambur College. We are happy to congratulate and welcome all the principals of affiliated colleges, registrars of the federated faculties, heads of the counseling centers, and heads of institutions accredited to the board. A very special word of welcome to the new principals, registrars of federated faculties, and head of institutions. New principals, vice principals, registrars of college, seminaries, and federated faculties. One, Reverend Dr. P. R. Selvaraj, new principal, Concordia Theological Seminary, Nagar Coil, in place of Reverend Dr. D. Christodas. Two, Reverend Dr. Viju Chako, new principal, New Theological College, Daradun, in place of Reverend Dr. Simon Samuel. Three, Mr. V. T. Bangwang Vangsha, new principal, Mon Theological College, Mon Nagaland, in place of Mr. Trayvon Konak. Four, Mr. Sita Solo, new principal, Maryland Theological College, Maryland, Misora, in place of Ms. Lynn H. Nogoy. Five, Dr. Samuel George, new principal, South India Biblical Seminary, Mungara Pet, in place of Reverend Dr. K. Balakrishnan. Six, Reverend Dr. K. C. Varghese, new principal, Marthama Ipsal Kapil Jubilee Institute, Thirivella, in place of Reverend Sabu Koshi. Seven, Dr. Jacob Matthew, new principal, Kerala Theological Seminary, Kotarakara, in place of Dr. Sajida Varghese. Eight, Reverend Dr. Abraham Skaria P., new principal, Dharma Jyoti Vidya Pid, Faridavad in place of Reverend Dr. Sunni E. Matthew. Nine, Father Dr. Jacob Matthew, new registrar FFRRC Kerala in place of Reverend Dr. Koshi P. Orgis. Ten, Reverend Dr. H. Joseph Lalang Moya, new principal, Master's College of Theology Vishakhapatanam in place of Reverend Dr. K. David Uday Kumar. 11. Dr. Hutton Donring Anal, Interim Principal, Kalev Institute, Haryana, in place of Reverend Dr. Richard Howell. 12. Dr. H. Chang Loy, Officiating Principal, Tarlok Theological Seminary, Manipur, in place of Dr. Kong Sai. 13. Mr. I. V. Giftin Isaac, Acting Principal of Sri Thyagaraja College of Music and Theology, Marthandam in place of Reverend Dr. K. Isaac Jeff Singh. 14. Ms. Nilmani 
மர்தாயி ஆக்டிங் பிரின்சிபல் சண்டா தியாலஜிக்கல் காலேஜ் மகாரோ ஜார்க்கண்ட் இன் பிளேஸ் ஆஃப் ரெவரன் டாக்டர் இஸ் மை எல் முர்மு ஐ ஆல்சோ டேக் திஸ் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி டு எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் கிராட்டிடியூட் டு த அவுட் கோயிங் பிரின்சிபல்ஸ் ரெஜிஸ்ட்ரார்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி அவார் காலேஜஸ் அண்ட் ஃபெடரேட்டட் ஃபேக்கல்ட்டிஸ் ஒபிச்சுவரி ரிமெம்பர் வித் கிராட்டிடியூட் the dedicated life and work of the following persons who slept in the lord and conveyed our heartfelt heartfelt condolences to their bereaved families one reverend dr jacob vargis former principal of kuts former president of the senate on october 1 2023 two reverend dr ravi tiwari former registrar senator saravur college Saramur and Saramur uh, September 20, 2023. 3. Reverend Dr. Isaac Jawa Singh, the principal of the Sri Thyagaraja College of Music and Theology, Kanyagamari on August 13, 2023. 4. I. Lamatsu Ao, Associate Professor of New Testament, Trinity Theological College, Dinahur, on March 3rd, 2023. New Staff Appointments. The following staff were appointed. Mr. Indrajit James, Office Assistant, Senate Office. Ms. Devajani Mondal, Office Assistant, Satri Office. Mr. Saura Murthy Mondal, Office Assistant, Scepter Office. Staff Farewell. 1. The Senate bid farewell to Rev. Dr. M. Justin Moses, Deputy Registrar and his family on March 31st, 2023. Dr. Justin served the Senate for six years, that is two terms, as Deputy Registrar and Acting Registrar. during the transition at the sudden demise of the then registrar we express our appreciation for his good service to the to the senate to mr varun banerji an accountant who worked in both chapter and senate office retired on january 30th 2023 we appreciate the good service he rendered to the senate Senate Health to Theological Colleges in Manipur 1. Jarlak Theological Seminary The TTS was wholly burned and destroyed during the Manipur conflicts. Hence, the Senate Executive appealed to all the Senate affiliated colleges to help in cash or kind. Many colleges generously donated to the TTS and the senate appreciates the good gesture they have shown to the college all the different units of the senate office that is satri sector and vtsc contributed 7 lakh to the tts to transfer of students due to the crisis in manipur the senate granted special permission to transfer students from manipur to other colleges the senate appreciated all those colleges for welcoming students from manipur confirmation and new aff- uh, affiliations one mdh confirmation the john robert theological college shillong mdh in history of christianity christian theology and religions two vd confirmations and affiliations a master's college of theology vishakhapatnam for bd b lenard theological college for bd in hindi medium from 2024 3 bth confirmation and affiliation a yavatmal college of college for leadership training bth confirmation b new bharat bible institute pune new affiliation c christian theological seminary 
Chunyakam BTH. D. FTS BTH. Kerala from 2024. Four. DWM of confirmations. A. Sri Thyagaraja College of Music and Theology. B. Amazing Grace Bible Seminary. Five extension programs. A. Confirmations. TCL Lenga for BCS. Emmanuel Theological Seminary. Exam Center for DPCS and BCS. New affiliations. FTS. DPCS. AICS for DPCS. Living Hope Theological College, Tamil Nadu. College, Tamil Nadu. Exam Center for BCS and DPCS. South Asia Nazarene Bible College, Bangalore, Exam Center for BCS and DPCS. In exercising the right and functioning as a university in the Faculty of Theology under the Act of Bengal Legislation 1918, the Salambur College confers degrees and diplomas, namely, 1. Doctor of Theology, 2. Doctor of Ministry, 3. Master of Theology, 4. Masters in Counseling and Psychotherapy, 5. Master in Christian Studies, 6. Bachelor of Divinity, 7. Bachelor of Theology, 8. Bachelor of Missiology, 9. Bachelor of Christian Studies, 10. Bachelor in Bible Translation Studies, 11. Diploma in Clinical Pastoral Counseling, 12. Diploma in Christian Studies, 13. Diploma in Bible Translation, and 14. Diploma in Worship and Music. The following are the list of graduates of 2023 who will be conferred degrees and diplomas in, in this 96th convocation. Regular program, Doctor of Theology, altogether 26 persons. Doctor of Ministry, 10. Master of Theology, 259. Masters in Counseling and Psychotherapy, 11. Bachelor of Divinity, 1115. Bachelor of Theology, 70. Bachelor of Missiology, 18. And Diploma in Clinical Pastoral Counseling, 39. Total, 1,548. Extension Program. Masters in Christian Studies, that is MCS, altogether 58 candidates. Bachelor of Christian Studies, BCS, 303. Diploma in Christian Studies, 120. Diploma in Bible Translation, this year no candidate. Diploma in Worship and Music, 28. Bachelor in Bible Translation Studies, 4. Total, 513. Total graduates, 2,061 in this year. Board of Theological Education of the Senate of Saramvur College, BTESOC. The board office operates from Septer Program Center, Kolkata, with the leadership of Reverend Dr. Rodin Maya Rate as the Acting Secretary of the BTESOC, as per the arrangement made by the Executive Committee of the of Senate. The President of the Senate is the chairperson of the board. There are 67 theological colleges and 20 Christian institutions as official members of the board by paying yearly membership fees. The main function of the board is to facilitate the relationship between churches and theological institutions. It also acts as an advisory board to the Senate of Sarambur College as a representative of the, of the church. The board also takes care of the Solidarity Fund Trust by allocating funds towards resource scholarships to Satri and grant to BD and MTH scholarships. 
also BTSC takes care of VTT TSA Department of Research Satri Department of Research that is Satri it was initially a research wing of the VTSC now functions under the Senate of Saramur College with its office at Saramur since 2011 the primary task of the research is to strengthen the academic program of the Senate in promoting doctor level research through formal and extension programs. The Committee for Research is responsible for the academic administration of the Department of Research. Currently, the Satri looks after Doctor of Theology, that is DTH, Doctor of Ministry, that is Devin program, uh, Devin program, and Doctor Ashwati John, the Dean of Satri, and wishes that the Satri will grow further with her leadership. Senate Center for Extension and Pastoral Theological Research or SEPTER. The extension program of the Senate has its independent office at Kolkata, Sharachi Building, Reverend Dr. Odin Moya Rate, the Dean of the Extension Studies Sector, is successfully leading the extension program of the Senate. Programs such as MCS, BCS, and DIFCS are offered by the Senate through the Department of Extension Studies through the sector. Enrollment in the extension program is increasing every year. This year, the Senate launched two new programs that are Diploma in Christian Education and Diploma in Context Theology. Acknowledgement. We are confident that the Senate of Sarambur College is well placed to serve the churches and to respond to the new challenges and opportunities. With heartfelt gratitude, we highly value the integral role of our overseas partners for their long-standing partnership and financial support. We look forward to and welcome new opportunities to develop our relationship further. It is appropriate to acknowledge and thank the Kerala United Theological Seminary to Andrum for graciously hosting the annual meetings of the board and senate and Saramur College Convocation. We thank the governing body, the principal and KUTS community for their wholehearted support and hard work in arranging the convocation ceremony and overcoming many, many challenges. We deeply appreciate the elaborate preparations and arrangements that they have made for the successful completion of the annual meetings of the board and the Senate and Sarambur College Convocation. Vote of thanks. We appreciate the leadership given by the Master Bishop Dr. Anil Kumar Savant in all our activities. We thank him sincerely for his unflagging support. The contribution of the Registrar, Reverend Dr. Limatula Longkumar, the Dean of Research, Dr. Ashwadi John, the Acting Secretary of BTSSC, and Dean of Extension Program, Reverend Dr. Rodin Maviarate, deserves our thanks for their committed service to the theological education of this subcontinent. We recall our thanks to the principals of all affiliated colleges, registrars of federated faculties, heads of institutions, members and chairpersons of different committees of the Senate, conveners of the board of studies, tapers of tales, and examiners, and the committed service of the professors of the Senate affiliated colleges. I take this opportunity to thank the staff in the Senate office, 
Satri office and Sefter office at Kolkata for their committed service. I deem it a great privilege to express our gratitude to the convocation speaker, the commemoration speak speaker and our overseas partners who are here to support theological education through the Senate of Sarambur College, Sarambur. Of, we congratulate all our graduates and urge you to walk worthy of your calling by offering your very selfless service to God to achieve the motto of William Carey, the founder of Sarambur College. As the great things from God attempt great things for God. Thank you so much. The Senate of Sirampur College have some prizes for different degree programs and also for diplomas. And these prizes are instituted by different institutions, churches, and also the individuals for different programs. We would like to give away the Senate prizes of 2023. For this, may I request our president of the Senate of Sirampur College, Metropolitan Zakarias Mar Aprim. Here are the prizes. Master's Prize MTH for overall highest grade goes to Akang Tamse Yadan from Clark Theological College, Mogokchong. You see here? Not, huh? Second, late Dr. C. Diva Sahayam Prize for Christian Ministry. MTH. The prize goes to P. Paul Niana Nitian, Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary, Madurai. Again, thirdly, CSI Diocese of Madurai Prize in Christian Ministry goes to P. Paul Niana Nitian, Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary, Madurai. Fourth, Senate President's Prize for Highest Marks in MTH Degree in Religion Subject, instituted by Metropolitan Dr. Zacharias Mar Aprim. This prize goes to C.B. Matthew from Federated Faculty for Research in Religion and Culture, Kutayam, Kerala. Senate Prize for Autonomous College, BD College. We have one autonomous college, United Theological College, Bangalore. This Senate Prize for Autonomous College prize goes to Pintu Im, United Theological College, in Bangalore.
Number seven. Uh, number six, George Howells, Prize in Christian Theology. Two prizes. One is for BD and the other one is for BDH. For BD, the prize goes to David Jisudasand Im from Madras Theological College and Seminary, Chennai. And the BTH also, let me just read out, Baria Sujit Kumar, Prabhu Bhai, BTH, Methodist Bible Seminary, Vasat. Please come one by one. Number seven, C. E. Abraham, Prize in Church History for BD and BDH. For BD, the prize goes to Limiga Achumi from Trinity Theological College, Dimabu. And for the BDH, Bartha Nabu Samuel from Andhra Christian Theological College, Hyderabad. Number eight, E.C. Dewick Prize in Religion in BD Studies. The prize goes to Reason George from Faith Theological Seminary, Managala. Number nine, Senate Prize in Biblical Studies, BD, for both Old Testament and New Testament. The prize goes to Limika Achumi, Old Testament, Trinity Theological College, Timapur. And for the New Testament, the prize goes to Sinayinla uh, Clark Theological College, Mogokchong. May I request to stay back, Ms. Sinayana. Number 10, Reverend C. C. Bandi Memorial Prize in BD and BDH for the overall highest grade. 
In BD, the prize goes to Senayana Clark Theological College, Mugokjong. And for the BDH, the prize goes to Baria Sujit Kumar Prabhupai for BDH, Methodist Bible Seminary, Vasat. Eleventh, Union Biblical Seminary Prize in BD for the highest grade in the Old Testament and New Testament. For the Old Testament, the prize goes to Limiga Achumi in Old Testament, Trinity Theological College, Dimabur. And for the New Testament, the prize goes again to Senayenla, Clark Theological College, Mogokjong. Number 12, Right Reverend S. R. Ferdadu Prize in BD in BDH for the highest grade in Christian ministry. For BD, the prize goes to Gladstone Ruba Raj A. from Bishop's College, Kolkata. And for the BDH, Lee Jan Gi Joseph from Martuma Episcopal Jubilee Institute of Evangelism, Tiruvala. Lijan Gi Joseph, not here. No? Number 13, late Dr. C. Diva Sahayam, Prize in Christian Ministry, for BD. The prize goes to Gladstone Ruba Raj A from Bishop's College, Calcutta. Number 14, Reverend Dr. Mohit Ki Brahmanik Prize for Excellence in Field Work goes to Limika Achumi from Trinity Theological College, Dimabur. Number 14, uh, 15, Dr. T. Sither Price by Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary Madurai for highest grade in Senate examination papers for PDH. The prize goes to Baria Sujit Kumar Prabhupai from Methodist Bible Seminary, Vasat.
number 16. Bishop Isaac Mar Felixinos, Proficiency Prize for MCS degree. For this year, it goes to P. Rupi Vilaya Mal from Gurugul Lutheran Theological College, Chennai. Seventeen, Reverend Liang Kaya, Prize for BCS degree for overall proficiency awards, goes to Rajni V from directly registered with the Senate scepter. Okay. Number 18, NCCI Proficiency Prize for BCS degree in English. It goes to Rajni V. Tarek, candidate. Number 19, Allahabad Bible Seminary Proficiency Prize for BCS degree in Hindi goes to Pickup Kumar, Tarek, Senate candidate. They are not here. Oh, oh, sorry, it's coming. I didn't see. Shall we give them a round of applause to all of them? Congratulations.
I am extremely happy this evening to introduce our uh, convocation speaker for the 2023, Dr. Celia John Light She, a very distinguished, a very eminent Christian leader, and we are extremely happy that she is in our midst today. I do understand that she did have a visa problem. But in the last moment, we thank God that she was able to get the visa. And of course, this tonight, very tonight, she is she has to go back. So I would like to take this opportunity, ma'am, and thank you. I know the pain what you have taken, and we are very much grateful to you. Celia lives with her family in Frankfurt, Germany, and belongs to the Lutheran congregation. And she holds a PhD in Mission Theology from Heidelberg University, Germany, after having achieved a Master in Protestant Theology. Celia served in various NGOs in international development projects, especially in India, before joining the EMW. As a senior theologian, also in charge of the theological education worldwide. Celia is 50 years old. She visits India since she was 13 years old and speaks of India as her second home. On behalf of all of you, I invite Madam Sylvia to come and address the, at this time. Dear Master of Serampo College, Bishop Dr. Anil Kumar John Servant, the President of the Senate of Serampo College, Metropolitan Dr. Sakuraya Ma Amprem, the Convener of the Senate and the Principal of Serampo College, Professor Dr. Van Sanglura, the Registrar of the Senate of Serampo College, Reverend Dr. Limatula Longkuma, the Treasurer of the Senate of Serampo College, Reverend Dr. Chikuri Vasantarao, Dr. Shwati John, Dean of Satri, Dr. Rodin Moya Raolte, Dean of Scepter and BGESSC. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear siblings in Christ, and dear gratitudes. It's a great honor and pleasure for me to stand here before you today as a representative of the EMW. The EMW is an organization of Protestant churches, agencies, and associations in mission and ecumenism. Nine mission agencies, five free churches, five associations, and the Evangelical Church in Germany, EKD, form the umbrella organization of the Protestant Mission Agency. At the same time, the EMW acts as a professional association for ecumenical world mission and mission theology for members in associated organization. Thank you very much for inviting me, and I look forward to celebrating with you. India is my second home. I have known this country since I was 13 years old, and that is quite a long time ago. Back then, I fell in love with this country and its people, and it has stayed with me ever since. You can enjoy and you can suffer in India. You know that much better than I do. But you live in an incredible, interesting, culturally rich and diverse country, including an exciting church history of its own, from the first traditions of the Thomas Christians at the West Coast to Bartolomeo Ziegenbalg at the East Coast, the Jesuit missionaries in the North, and then the Indian theologians who finally inculturated the biblical message in its own way. But I don't want to give a lecture on Indian church history here, but first and foremost, congratulate you. Congratulations, respect, my highest appreciation. You have achieved something and completed it. 
This is being officially recognized here today and you can celebrate. This is a moment to take a breath, to be proud and to catch your breath. In Protestant ethics, pride does not have a good reputation. And in the Catholic Church, it was even labeled a mortal sin in the European Middle Ages. However, I'm in favor of enjoying moments of pride. Only moments when you have achieved something and then the time quickly come to be humble and a learner again. Today, you can be proud. With this joy and recognition, you can hopefully recharge your batteries and take courage for the next stage of your journey. After all, you are standing on a threshold. You can look back now and already see the next stage of your journey. Your journey of life and your journey with God continues. I would like to reflect with you today on what you need for a well-equipped journey. Your life's journey into pastoral or theological work begins at the next level after this celebration. You do not know yet exactly how long this journey will take. You do not know all the conditions, like traveling in an unknown territory. That sounds familiar to us, doesn't it? In the biblical stories, we accompany many people on their journeys in the Old Testament, through the desert and into the Promised Land, into exile and out of Egypt. In the New Testament, we accompany Jesus on his travels. With St. Paul's, the good news traveled to Europe for the first time, and with the Ethiopian treasure, it traveled to Africa. We are a religion on a move, a wandering people of God, without palaces, but with tents. A religion without a holy land and without a holy people because anyone can come to us and become a Christian as it says in Hebrews for he we do not have an enduring city but we are looking for the city that is to come so being on the way is the normal but back to your life's journey what do you need I suggest the following first of course you need provisions and second you need tools that has to come in your luggage and where are you going are we going what is the destination of your journey we have an eternal goal that will carry us through the desert times and we should not lose sight of it that can help us to achieve a serenity that helps us not become too stubborn in every life, everyday life, neither too perfectionist nor too desperate. In other respects too, Jesus set an example of a middle way with his ethics. Not a revolutionary, but not a simple follower either. He integrated and expanded the Jewish heritage, not simply rejected it. This balancing act is not easy. Sometimes it's easier to think in black and white and in politics around the world, it is currently being demonstrated how seductive, radical and binary thinking is. But this is not modeled on Jesus. We should maintain a balance between the eschatological not yet and the earthly already now. So the goal is to find a balance. Let's see where we are at the end of my little journey with you in this lecture. First, provisions. Now, of course, I could rave about Indian food. Wonderful curries in friends' homes, delicious samosas on the street corner, milk tea in the train, or Bengali street food, puripani in Kolkata. Not forgetting fish in Kerala, wonderful fruits. Okay. I stop getting an appetite. No, of course, I need provisions for life. You should have three packets with you. First, biblical reading. This is strength for the soul. The biblical stories that you will find for every situation in life will strengthen you in body and soul, lift you up and comfort you. 
The stories are from God and God speaks through them. Let them touch you and strengthen you again and again, like a good meal. And just as with food, do it again and again. Only regular eating keeps us healthy and only regular Bible reading maintains our faith. According to this, here's an example from the work of the EMW. The German Bible Society is a member of the EMW. The Bible societies are organized nationally and networked worldwide. In 2022, there were around 35.5 million new Bibles in circulation in the world. The top three countries in which the most Bibles were distributed were Brazil, the US, and in third place, guess what, India. In 184 countries around the world, the Bible societies helped to make to spread the good news and the scripture distribution statistics are published annually. In India, of course, there's also a Bible society, the Bible Society of India. Secondly, you need a spiritual oasis in which places you really come to rest, in which places or in which moments you can refuel your faith, like an electric car, like a battery, like a full shopping bag. And I don't mean it in a banal way, but in a very practical way. If you don't ensure that we don't burn out, we are neglecting our responsibility we have for ourselves and our mission. For me, church buildings are important. In Europe, we have beautiful ones, especially the old ones, which are sacred places for me that do me good. Church music is also important for me. It's also my spiritual home. I come from a Lutheran tradition, and when I heard a Lutheran choral in Tamil in a church service as a teenager, suffering a bit from a culture shock in India, I was in tears and I knew that church home is everywhere. Physical places, music, and definitely prayers and dialogue with God can carry you through desert times in your life. I give you an, another example from our work. In Guatemala, Central America, the EMW supports short courses on various topics, such as pastoral care, justice and peace, women and theology. The target groups of these courses are primarily church leaders and pastors, lay people involved in church leadership and also Bible school teachers. The center primarily uses the extension teaching model. In 2012, the center in Guatemala has been offering a peace education program in the form of basis, basic and advanced courses under the title School of Peace Culture. Here, the work of churches, groups, and organizations in the area of social justice, theology, and gender issues, reconciliation, and the integrity of creation receives concrete support through a wide range of training and further education courses. All over the world, it is therefore a matter of transporting theology into daily life and then transforming political life. The EMW supports this. Third, you need trusted people, preferable really good friends. Perhaps you have found friends for life during your studies. Perhaps you have already brothers and sisters in faith around you. Then cultivate these friendships and use niches in your everyday life to exchange ideas. When you become a pastor, it is often difficult to maintain friendships in your own congregation as there is sometimes a conflict of roles. That's why you also need friendships outside of your parish. Again an example. The EMW, as EMW, we can fund a few scholarships in the, summers, in the summer for young postgraduates or postdoctoral researchers and send them to international summer schools. In Germany, the UEM, United in Mission, organizes an annual summer school in peace building. Around 20 young people from all over the world take part and learn new methods of conflict resolution, exchange ideas, learn from each other, and network together. And there they have a break from their everyday lives at home. 
This also creates friendships outside the pastoral ministry. These are my recommendations for your life rucksack as provisions, biblical reading, spiritual oasis and friends. And provisions are unfortunately used up. So I'm afraid you have to keep replenishing them. Don't forget that. Now you go your way strengthened. Is that enough? No. Because you will soon encounter the first difficult situation along the way that you have to overcome. And what you need now? Exactly, tools. Again, I suggest three tools you should have in your luggage that will help you. First, exegesis. After years of study, you have learned how to deal with biblical texts, historical critical method, literary criticism, contextual analysis, the biblical languages, and much more. These are useful study contents that help us to categorize, understand, and then interpret the ancient text so that they can continue to speak to us and to our time. Exegesis helps you to recognize whether a biblical text you have in front of you is a poem, a prayer, a historical account, or a prophecy. And why is this important? To explain messages, for example. The sentence, my mother is the best in the world, is a statement of love and not an objective analysis. It is a sentence that is true for me. To be able to deal with types of biblical texts and categorize statements, exegesis is necessary. Which sentence is a statement of faith? Which is a historical date? Which polemic point was made against contemporary conflict parties? And so on and so forth. And then you can preach the texts and make God's word audible in your pastoral context. We need to explore new insights from ex exegesis again and again. Here comes my example. This year, for the first time, the EMW has set up a new fund to promote projects in eco-theology. Here we are experiencing a new contextualization of the biblical words on the preservation of creation. Have we relied too much on the promise that sowing and harvesting, frost and heat will not cease? Now is the time to protect creation, to hear the groaning of the creature, and to become active. This is where we need competent exegesis to help us to overcome and to develop an up-to-date theology of creation that opens up the biblical mandate and moves us into action. And you and what you emphasize and how you evaluate certain passages in the Bible depends on a second tool you have with you from now on. Second, your confessional and systematic map. You need tools, but you also need an instruction manual for them. And that can be your tradition and your systematic theological expertise. Which path do you take on your journey? Which landmarks along the way stand out for you? Is it the epistle of, to the Romans that justifies the Lutheran doctrine of justification so well? Is it the Gospel of John that makes the effectiveness of God's Spirit so clear to us? You can shed light on this as you are molded. You are now competently trained to be a hiking guide in the thicket of many possible interpretations and to show the way. This allows you to use the tool of exegesis in a targeted way. The traditions of the Reformation place particular emphasis on education. And the Roman Catholic tradition also has these traditions, especially from the monasteries. Theological education protects against radicalization and self-appointed preachers. I believe it is a treasure to be part of a confessional tradition. And in the ecumenical breadth that the colleges of the Senate of Serampur represent, you were also able to learn about the treasures of others. 
isn't that a beauty of our religion that we have different denominational imprints? I am sure that if God had wanted only one interpretation of his message, he would not have given us such a diverse testimony of his message in the Bible. Only together we can do justice to this beauty. This is also what the ecumenical movement stands for. And this is also what the Senate of Sarampur and the EMW where I come from stand for. This map connects you with the church history of your country and your church tradition. So you're not walking in a vacuum, but in the discipleship of Jesus and the many others after him. We do not have an ahistorical God, but one who walks with us in space and time. So we, do the the so we do theology in space and time, as my example shows. In Syria, the EMW supports a Protestant pastor who has traveled to Beirut, Lebanon, once a month for her doctoral studies. In Beirut, Lebanon, there is the Nest Near East School of Theology, where you can do a doctorate, but not in Syria. As you can imagine, the situation there is not easy, and the pastor told us how burdensome this journey is once a month through various military checkpoints and through dangerous war zones. Why is she doing this? Because she wants to do theological research, because she might one day become a professor. And why are we supporting this? because we need competent people from all regions of the world who can make theology speak in their own culture and make the word of God resound so that it can spread like beautiful music. Now you have good tools in your rucksack and you can read the map, but how do you impart your knowledge to your travel group? For this you need third pastoral training. With what you have learned in practical theology, you have learned communication methods and can hold conversations. You have learned how to preach and are confident in the liturgical field. And depending on the church, a further training phase awaits you, in which you can take further training steps in the ministry. And so you have the perfect theological triad. You can deal with the biblical findings, you can categorize them systematically, and you can communicate them to the people entrusted to your care. So what else should happen to you? My example for practical help. EMW has been able to train and support pastors and church workers in China to work with torn families and provide them with pastoral care. The parents work in remote cities and the children stay with their grandparents, which is not a satisfactory situation for many. Here in India too, there's a lot of internal migration with similar social and psychological problems. And so projects like this can provide a great deal of protection and help in church homes. So if you take care about your provisions, keep your tools in good condition and stop at an oasis from time to time. Then you can set off on your journey with confidence. But where we are actually traveling to? We wanted to talk about the destination again. Of course, this is not easy to say on such a journey through life because it will be very different for each of you. You will find your destination, personally and in dialogue with God. You may lose sight from time to time. There will be detours and perhaps your navigation system will fail. But you are equipped with survival tools to find the right path again. I would like to encourage you to stick with it. It is an honor for me to be able to speak to you here as a representative of the EMW. I'm very confident that each of you will be an asset to the church. I'm grateful and happy that you want to serve the church and the Lord of the church. And I wish you the best from the bottom of my heart. Be blessed. Thank you for your attention.
Convocation Formula for Conferring Degrees today. Doctor of Divinity, Doctor of Theology, Doctor of Ministry, Master of Theology, Master of Christian Studies, Master in Counseling and Psychotherapy, Bachelor of Divinity, Bachelor of Christian Studies, Bachelor of Theology, Bachelor of Missiology, Bachelor in Biblical Translation Studies, Diploma in Clinical Pastoral Counseling, Diploma in Christian Studies, and Diploma in Worship and Music. I present to you, sir, the candidates who have been examined and found qualified for the degrees of Sarangapur College, and I pray that they may receive them at your hand this day. The degree of Doctor of Divinity, Honoris Causa. Father Dr. G.M. George. Sir, I present to you Father Dr. K.M. George, upon whom, on the recommendation of the Senate, the Master and the Council of Sarangur College, our soul to confer the degree of Doctor of Divinity, Honoris Causa in recognition of his service to the church and society. Father Dr. K.M. George was born on October 11, 1946, after completing his college education from S.D. College Changnasheri and Sion's College Kottayam. He studied theology at Orthodox Theological Seminary and Sarangpur University. He achieved master's degree from Levin and PhD from Paris. He was also interested in painting and studied painting from the École des Beaux Arts Fine Arts School, Paris. Father Dr. Ken George is well versed with and has in-depth knowledge in languages like French, Syriac, and Latin. The books authored by him in Malayalam and English are widely read, appreciated, and recognized. Father Dr. K. N. George has held several key positions both in the church and international organization. He served as the principal of Orthodox Theological Seminary Kottayam. He was the professor and moderator of WCC program committee at the Bose International Institute in Geneva from 1998 to 2006, at Federated Faculty for Research in Religion and Culture, that is FFRRC, Sarambur University, and he functioned as co-chairperson as well as a professor. He served as member in Executive Central Committee of the WCC Geneva. He dealt with the position of member in the joint working group between Roman Catholic Churches and WCC. He offered his services as a member of Senate of Sarambur University. He was the Senior Secretary of National Council of Churches, New Delhi. He has also given guest lect lectures at Geneva University and Lausanne University. Manorama School of Communication and Press Club School of Journalism, Kote. Father Dr. Ken George is the founding director of Savana Orthodox Academy and professor and chair of Dr. Paulus Mar Gregorio's chair, Mahatma Gandhi University, Kote. An erudite scholar, thinker, and writer. Father Dr. Ken George has published a number of books and articles in English and Malayalam, besides several allocations and presentations made in international forums. Some of his major works are God Language, A Patristic Perspective, Ethics of Just Peace, An Orthodox Perspective, From an Asian Context, Gospel and Culture, why turn to east for prayer? Wheel within a wheel, an echo, ironic understanding of God's earth, 
the threat of hiv aids some theological considerations and guru gregorios 21 ആം നൂറ്റാണ്ടിലെ വിചാരശില്പികൾ ആധുനിക വിചാരശില്പികൾ സൈലൻറ്റ് റൂട്ട്സ് പ്രവാസത്തിൻ്റെ നാളുകൾ ജനതകളുടെ പ്രകാശം ആൻഡ് സോ ഓൺ ദ സീരീസ് ഓഫ് ലെക്ചേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ഡെലിവേർഡ് അ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് സെൻറ്റേഴ്സ് ഇൻ കേരള ഓൺ മേക്കേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് തോട്ട് ഇൻ ദ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫസ്റ്റ് സെഞ്ച്വറി ഗെയിൻഡ് മച്ച് പ്രൊഫിയാരിറ്റി ആൻഡ് വെർ കംബൈൽഡ് ഇൻ എ വോളിയം ആൻഡ് പബ്ലിഷ് ബൈ ഡി സി ബുക്സ് കോട്ടയം ദ ലെക്ചേഴ്സ് ഡെൽറ്റ് വിത്ത് ഫിലോസോഫിക്കൽ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ജെയിംസ് ലവലോക് കാൾ സേഗൺ ഫ്രിഡ്ജ് ഓഫ് കഫ്ര എഡ്വാർഡ് വിൽസൺ പൗലസ് മാർ ഗ്രിഗോറിയോസ് പീറ്റ് അഫ് ബർഗർ സമുവൽ ഹണ്ടിങ്ടൺ റുബർട്ട് ഷെൽഡ്രേഗ് ദീപക് ചോഫ്ര ആൻഡ് അമർത്യ സിൻ കമൻറ്റിംഗ് ഓൺ ദ ബുക്ക് സുകുമാർ അഴീക്കോട് ദ ഡോയൻ എമങ് കൾച്ചറൽ ക്രിറ്റിക്സ് ഡോക്ടർ കെ എൻ ജോർജ് ഹാസ് ലെഡ് ദ കേരളൈറ്റ്സ് ബൈ ദ ഹാൻഡ് ഇൻ ടു ദ കോർട്ട് യാർഡ് ഓഫ് എ ഗ്ലോബൽ ഡയലോഗ് ആൻഡ് ദി വെയ്റ്റ് ഹി ഹാസ് സെറ്റ് ബിഫോർ ആസ് എ പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം ഫോർ ദി ആർട്ടിക്കുലേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി ഫ്രഷസ്റ്റ് ഐഡിയാസ് ആൻഡ് തോട്ട്സ് ദ ടേക്ക് അസ് ബിയോണ്ട് ദ ലിമിറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് മോഡേൺ തോട്ട് I present you, sir, for the Dr. Kain Jawar, for the distinction of degree of Doctor of Divinity. By virtue of the powers and the authority vested in the Council of Sinampur College, I admit Father Dr. Kain Jawar to the degree of Doctor of Divinity, Honoris Causa, for his eminent scholarship and service to the christian church Reverend H. Ramthanga, Sir, I present you Reverend H. Ramthanga upon whom, on the recommendation of the Senate, the Master and the Council of Sarambar College has resolved to confer degree of Doctor of Divinity Honorius Cosa, a recognition of his service to the Church and Society. Reverend H. Ramthanga was born on August 22nd 1945 at Leng village in Isol district his father was Chinmaya and his mother was Chung Hangi Reverend H Ramthanga has contributed immensely for the church and society especially in the pastoral ministry theological education church administration in Mizoram and also in international national levels Reverend H. Ramthanga is an ordained minister of Mizoram Presbyterian Church Synod dedicating the whole tenure of his active ministry with a distinction in theological education, pastoral ministry and in the society. He served as lecturer of Iso Theological College during 1979 December to 1988. as registrar of ATC during January 1989 April 1990 and as principal of ATC during May 1990 December to 1993 Reverend H Ramthanga also served the church in various capacities like synod secretary synod moderator and synod executive secretary having served the presbyterian church of india as the executive committee member since 1989 to today he then became the moderator of the 
General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of India during 2002-2004. He was also appointed as Partnership Consultant and Regional Liaison, South Asia under the Presbyterian Church, USA, stationed at Delhi during 2001 to 2006. Apart from these contributions, Reverend H. Rantanga is a pioneer in the development of archive centers, both in Isol Theological College and Senate Office of Mizoram Presbyterian Church, which became an important resource center for many researchers. Moreover, he is well equipped in making rules and regulations of the church of both Mizoram Church and the Presbyterian Church of India at large. Being an ecumenical person, Reverend H. Ramdanga also played a significant role towards the development of church unity in Mizoram, especially developing harmonious atmosphere between the two biggest churches in Mizoram, that is Mizoram Presbyterian Church and Baptist Church of Mizoram. I present you, Sir Reverend H. M. Tanga, for the distinction of degree of Doctor of Divinity. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Sirampur College, I admit Reverend H. Ramthinga to the degree of Doctor of Divinity Honoris Causa for his eminent scholarship and service to the Christian Church. Doctor of Theology. The following candidates have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations relating to the degree of Doctor of Theology. Yes, dear son. Amos Masi, Aran Sandla Jemir, Bernang Lamla T. Imsong, C. Wanla Shoya, C. W. Ranchamo Kikon, Cardinal R. Marak, Shenijan Patton, Christian Robinson Nelson, Imsu Toshi, Jim M. R. Paul, Kihe Gumble Nang, Lal Fakwama Ralte, Lea Rosa Singhai, Lian Muan Kam Swande, Muang Toshi Waling, Oran Sani Shitri, Otoka Yes, Philip George. Ramon Sakaraya, Rincham Liana, Rosiam Liana Tochwang, Ngatar Rui Wano, Siljalam Dungal, Sushil C. Cheryan, Vedakani V. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Theology, urging you 
so to walk and act that your conduct shall at all times glorify the name of our dear Lord Jesus Christ and worthily sustain the honor of your standing in this college.
in addition to the persons here present on whom the degree of Doctor of Theology has been conferred, the following persons, as per the list submitted, have also completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations relating to the degree of Doctor of Theology. They being absent, I request you, sir, that the degree may be conferred on them in absentia. Please be seated. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admitted this person to the degree of Doctor of Theology in absentia. The following candidates have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations relating to the Doctor of Ministry. Ye Ruben Jegumar, Early Morning Siet Pasa, I Ranjit Vedagumar, John Matthew, El Limasumka Jamir, V. Anshli Sumi, Vijay Kumar. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Ministry, urging you so to walk and act that your conduct shall at all times glorify the name of our dear Lord Jesus Christ and worthily sustain the honor of your standing in this college. Please be seated. In addition to the persons here present on whom the degree of Doctor of Ministry has been conferred, the persons as per the list submitted have also completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations relating to the degree of Doctor of Ministry. They being absent, I request you, sir, that the degree may be conferred on them in absentia.
in absentia. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admitted these persons to the degree of Doctor of Ministry in absentia. Degree of Master of Theology. The candidates from the following affiliated colleges have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations relating to the degree of Master of Theology. Academy of Integrated Christian Studies, ISOL, is absent. Advanced Institute for Research on Religion in Culture, Hyderabad. Padam Ratna Ambitkar Raju Happy San Kangmi Aizol Theological College Aizol Lal Lal Tui Kup Rangkul Clark Theological College Mugokchong Eastern Theological College, Johart. Artina C. H. Marak. PTU Mero. Sinkim C. H. Sangma. Serdu Wangbui Kung. Faith Theological Seminary, Managala. Mike, please. Abraham. Christopher. Abraham Christopher. Biju George. Boli Suresh. Christopher Thomas. Gayatri Shaker. Joycey Tooney. Kesia Mol Aju, Matthew Benison Babu, Rajendra Swasing, Sam Vargis, Stanley Johnson, Vidya Sagar Aladi. Federated Faculty for Research in Religion and Culture, Kerala, FFRC. Abraham Chako Cherian, Bernard MP, Irene J. Alexander, Koshi PG, M. Silas, Noble AR, Reggie TV, Robin Rajan, Sajeev Koshi, Satish Lal T, Shine D. Lawrence, and C.B. Matthew. Gurugul Lutheran Theological College, Chennai. Binolin Kaliyap, Claudia Juliet, Eunice Razamati, Ipendio Newme, Zagatis Kirubakaran, Jisa Kosi, John Jabadurai, Noah Bright, Rajas MZ, Shinto Jos, Sukumar N, Lalka Pali Razu, Tonminlan Haukip, William S. Sam. John Roberts Theological College, Shillong. Alan Roy Suchyang. 
Cleverson Tho Kopshan El Maulong Lambor Lang So Siang and Senberly Dengan North India Institute of Postgraduate Theological Studies West Bengal Muan Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary Maturai Hinakuli Epto P. Paul Nyananitin Trinity Theological College Dimabur Absent Union Biblical Seminary Pune Miss Glory United Theological College Bangalore A. Kalib Abin S. Abraham Akash Surya Arvind Imbaraj C.H. Ashok Darshipni Kasom Dongre Manjusha Vishwas Dats Jnana Robi R. Idealish C.H. Sangma Jins P. Thomas M.J. Shantidatha Melvin Vijaya Y Meseve U. Teri N. Lancer Raya Choti Stephen Paul S. Sushil Kumar Sandeep Jacob By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admit you to the degree of Master of Theology, urging you so to walk and act that your conduct shall at all times glorify the name of our dear Lord Jesus Christ and worthily sustain the honor of your standing in this college.
Please be seated. Master of Theology in Absentia. In addition to the persons here present on whom the degree of Master of Theology has been conferred, the persons as per the list submitted have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations for the degree. They being absent, I request you, sir, that the degree may be conferred on them in absentia. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admit these persons in absentia to the degree of Master of Theology. Degree of Master of Christian Studies. The following candidates have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations relating to the degree of Master of Christian Studies. Allahabad Bible Seminary, Allahabad. Andhra Christian Theological College, Hyderabad. Kodaginti Rajesh, Kukala Sudarsanam, Yam Manohar. Gurugul Lutheran Theological College, Chennai. Ruby Balayamal. Rachel Stella, Vedanaya Gampi. Kerala United Theological Seminary, Trivandrum. Jay Hudson, Jay Singh Y. Jepa Singh E. T. John Peter. Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary, Madurai. Isaac Nathaniel, yes. Israel, yes. J. Kumar, D. Joseph Jebasing D. Julian Satyadasan A. Martin Ranjit Singh R. Pakirani Elila Recipe. Pepin Apadurai T. Directly registered by the Senate. Arul Arun R. Jennifer Jebra Ni S. Rajesh Masi Konai. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admit you to the degree of Master of Christian Studies, urging you so to walk and act that your conduct shall at all times glorify the name of our dear Lord Jesus Christ and worthily sustain the honor of your standing in this college.
Please be seated. Master of Christian Studies in Absentia. In addition to the persons here present on whom the degree of Master of Christian Studies have been conferred, the persons as per the list submitted have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations for the degree. They being absent, I request you say that the degree may be conferred on them in absentia. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admit these persons in absentia to the degree of Master of Christian Studies. Master in Counseling in Psycho Psychotherapy in absentia because nobody have come from this um, course. The degree of Master in Counseling in Psychotherapy uh, have been conferred. The persons as per the list submitted have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations for the degree. They being absent, I request you say that the degree may be conferred on them in absentia. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admit these persons in absentia to the degree of Master of Counseling and Psychotherapy. We are coming to the biggest contingent, Bachelor of Divinity in persons. <laughs> the candidates from the following affiliated colleges have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations relating to the degree of Bachelor of Divinity. Sirambur College. Benny John, Krishtu Mohan, David Adisaya Raj, Jabin C. Blasan, Jaya Abinazar, Jijin Rose A, Milton Mark A, Nelson J, R. Lalthla Mwani, and Sijin Thomas Vaugis. Academy of Integrated Christian Studies, ISOL, absent. ISOL Geological College, ISOL. Abilina Lal Zili. Allahabad Bible Seminary, Allahabad. Ebenezer Isaac Y. Evangeline Jeba Golda J. Janita Steffi D. Joseph M. Samuel Rajkumar A. Sandeep Kumar. Andhra Christian Theological College, Hyderabad. Based Jana Sruti. Chavala Karunakar, Chalakapati Kumar, Deva Kishore Kumar, Ganapati Samuel Moses, Kandamalla, Ravi Kumar, Karneti Anil, Kodoro Prasad, Guramalli Venkataramana Yam Chakraya Mara Satish Kumar Yam Subha Samuel P. Varakumar Uli Isaac William Prasad Ustele Kumar Samson Donald S. Sava Abraham, Sujana M. Hello. 
ఉయ్యాల విజయ్ కుమార్ ఘటగిరి నరేంద్ర రుదుల జాన్సన్ పబ్లిక్ జియోలాజికల్ కాలేజ్ ఫోర్సరో ashiko kaisa who call yobu carolyn watila he wake crow theory nis tani pusu talu rite to jovelu veralu weko to kafo sin ignatius theological seminary tirovela krishnan kumar prasanna sankar ke petal bible college kundur అరుణ్రాజ్యం బంగారం అబిన్ ఆండ్రీస్ గద దివ్య గంద కిరణ్ కిషోర్ జోసఫ్ రాజు గాడ్బింగ్ మారాక్ గొల్లా జేసన్ బాబు కె నులాయ్ నవీన్ బెక్ నికలస్ మణికొండ పప్పుల దినగర్ నిర్మలాదేవి అనుపాతి పెనుమల రిచి జాన్ కీత్ రిబా చార్ల్స్ పినగాస్ సంగై జోస్వా వరికుటి కరోలినా నిసి షారోన్ ఎందురాఠి రాజు ఇషోబ్స్ కాలేజ్ కల్కత్తా అలెక్స్ ఎన్పి బెంజమిన్ లల్ మంగాయ్ సాంగా Bedam Arun Babu Daniel Justin R Gladstone Ruba Raj A Ledelin CH Sangma Opikali Sumi Tanmay Solomon Tangogen Singh Sit Kelvin Institute of Theology Hyderabad Abraham Rajas Sundar J Asir Vadam V Salrirang Im Sangma Surajni Karkita Vara Prasad Yandava Clark Theological College Mugokchung Carol S. Kekon Sinaila Concordia Theological Seminary, Nagar Coil Anish Kumar B. Binoshiga M. B. Sijit C. Ebenezer Sam Jnana Pragash S. Godwin B. Jaron Kumar Jason Dash John Jason Dash Lardwin Leo Franklin Manson Manoj Mohan Raj Nishant Princeton and Samuel M Tharma Jodi Vidyapeth Faridabad Ajo Paul Vargis Ajo D John Ajo Sen John Anto Achyankunya Bejo Benny Jarun Jacob Jim Isho Thomas Philip T. Vengal Nibin K. Saju Rita Singh Shain Raju Sijo Joseph John Eastern Theological College, Jorhat Binjar R. Sangma Krimji E. Sangma Pranjit Dimda Prima Prisi Moment 
Sanfrida R. Marak, Faith Theological Seminary, Manakala. Abhishek A. Abhishek A. Alvin Matthew, Ashish Joseph, Bibin Biji, Daniel Nathan BL, Daniel Deshmukh, Jesse Joseph, Jibin J, Joji Joni, Joshua Joss, Justin J. George, K. Monica Matthew, Leslin Vargis, Ryzen George, Sony RL, Vinid VK. Gosner Theological College, Ranji. Asren Kumari, Aten Mundu, Deep Demta, Adeline Surin, Junul Kandulna, Romi Kujur, Rup Singh. Gurukul Lutheran Theological College, Chennai. Abhi Sals. In CJ, Caldwell, Daniel Y, Samuel Asir, Garapati Helen Sioni Denisha, J. Silan C, Joshua Pakianand, Jasper Israel Stanley, Kinslin Raza, Matthew Zebaras, Roses E. R., Senoi V., Sures Kosla, Basan Sekar, Victor Felix. Harding Theological College, Torah. Sangma, Pinsilina Ki Marak, Pistina R. Sangma, Pelsing N. Marak, Chirap Singami R. Marak, Chinchak C. H. Marak, Chinchang A. Sangma, Tilkam Charlier P. Marak, Apert M. Moman, Fielder M. Marak, Chiniskai M. Sangma, Jonathan M. Sangma, Kanila M. Marak, Lastina P. Marak, Lakinsworth P. Marak, Mesper C. H. Marak, Namsing K. Marak, Nerita M. Muman, Nidia A. Sangma, Porno G. Marak, Rakami P. Marak, Rupertu I. Sangma, Silping uh, Singpalchi A. Sangma, Singsha G. Oman, Sandipur T. Sangma, Tasti Mekamchi M. Marak, and Puchin Sangma. India Bible College and Seminary, Kuzimala. Abda Sara Oj, Banerjee Kunal Prashant Dab, Dhyaniga Grace, Jitendra Kumar Ninama, Joyal Tithi, Joyal Kuryatyu, Joel Robert, Patrice James, Chetit Yet, Tom P. Abraham. John Roberts Theological College, Shillong. Ivy Ban Biang Supai, Ban Job Lang Sliang, Bichoni Ezung, Right D. Sangma, Chera Tokchi Marak, Chicharing T. Sangma, Ibatsan Ing T. Qatar, 
edify rembai folding shan wan yang kayos li jun thaba hamar bamut lang thaba chit da kanusha renta thiang pendap bha lang full wan yang risuk janai lengdo shining star marngar thengse liansi zangma thau samoi kholom baikas maithong thang zau wan bantai scam shadap kerala theological seminary kutara kara dulibala wesley genja brenham kumar gladson c isaac jason vargis k manoj mandal morta andrus babu yes arjun kerala united theological seminary trivandrum altrin thomas ashvin op premjit bennett t bibin mimson w indra i james george jerome jaya jay singh i jay prakash i lijo david nelson sebastian pradeep kumar yv shaiju p john sam christopher d samuel nishra j shaiju mj shaiju p shan kumar s cb sg stanley jos pk suresh d and vijaya k leonard theological college chapel bor joy bj gladwin matthew george justin v joseph madras theological seminary in college chennai ajit kumar e kalip j david jesusan m jayabala y jabarsan e jude jasindraj e lemuel s manoj raja b Mason Matthew K P Asif Pandian Peter S yes, Rajkumar D Ravi S yes, Samuel Joshua S yes, Samuel S yes, Saran K Satyamurthy L Salaman Raja K Malankara Syrian Orthodox Theological Seminary Ernakulam metro jk shijupi punyamat manipur theological college kangpukpi r teresa martumba theological seminary kutayam anu john asher matthew betson thomas elvin cherian abraham Masters College of Theology Mathura Wada Chipada Bala Mehar Nagasurya Durga Prasad Kanaparthi Rajasekhar Pelagaru Rupa Joyti Vampuru Melki Zedek Mennonite Brethren Centenary Bible College Shamshapat Samarpat Surya Vamshi New Theological College Dehradun Anhol Bak Orthodox Theological Seminary Kodayam Akhil Johnson Alan Kevargis Amal V. Matthew, 
എബിൻ എൽദോ എം എൽ ടി ഏബ്രഹാം ഗ്ലോറി മാത്യു ജോർജ് ജസ്റ്റിൻ ജോസ് ജിജോ കെ ജോയ് ജിനു മാത്യു ജോൺസൺ ജോബിൻ പി സജി ജോബി ജോസഫ് ജോർജ് ലിജോ ലോറൻസ് റിബിൻ അർ ബേബി റിജോസ് ജി ജോർജ് റോണി അർ ജോൺ സഞ്ചു പി മാത്യു സിബി സെബാസ്റ്റ്യൻ സിജു തോമസ് ആൻഡ് സ്മിജായ് സൈമൺ കെ സൗത്ത് ഇന്ത്യ ബിബ്ലിക്കൽ സെമിനറി പങ്ങാരാപത്ത് അനു വിജയൻ വി വിവാർക്കർ സ്നേഹ സുഭാഷ് ചിത്തം സാമ്യുൽ ഫിനി ദിവാൻ കുമാർ എസ് ജോഷുവ പി രാഹുൽ മനോഹർ രാഹുൽ റെഡ്ഡി വി വിൻസെൻറ് രാജ് വീര രാഘവൻ എം സെൻറ് തോമസ് ഓർത്തഡോക്സ് തിയോളജിക്കൽ സെമിനറി നാഗ്പൂർ മീ ആർ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് Rabbi Dr. Rigi Matthew to read out. Anish Skaria, Jarin K. Joy, Jubin V. Joseph, and Nithin Joseph Chiriyan. Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary, Maturai. Anbarasu Y, Bright A, Christopher R, Daniel Tangaraj, ജേ ഇളവരസ് എം എലൈസ എസ് ഇമാനുവൽ ഐ ജെ ആൽവിൻ ജെ ആമോസ് ജാക്കുലിൻ ജഗൻ സിംഗ് എം ജെയിംസ് പ്രസാന്ത് മേഷാക് ടി നെൽസൺ കെ ജി പ്രബീൻ എ രാജാറാം കെ രാജ്കുമാർ എൻ റോബർട്ട് രാജീവ് എസ് ജോൺ എസ് സാമ്യൽ രാജ സാം സാലിൻ ഡബ്ല്യു സമാധാന പ്രഭു എസ് സന്തോഷം എസ് സൗന്ദർരാജ് എം ജെ സുദർശൻ എസ് വിൻസെൻറ് റൂബസ് പുഷ്പരാജ് ഇ യേസുരാജ ഐ ശ്രീനിധി തിയോളജിക്കൽ കോളേജ് തിമാപൂർ അംഗം കി അങ് കണോ എ കിഹോ ലിമേക്ക അച്ചുമി സെന്തി ജുലു നബം തബ ട്രോലോക് തിയോളജിക്കൽ സെമിനറി ഇംഫാൽ യൂണിയൻ പിബ്ലിക്കൽ സെമിനറി പുനി ബസുമല ചന്ദ്രം ഡേവിഡ് ധനലക്ഷ്മൺ ദേവുൽ പള്ളി വിജയ് വെങ്കട്രാജ് സാം ഡൊണാൾഡ് എ ആൻഡ് സാമുൽ ഏബ്രഹാം Twitter Theological College, Vankusam. Giluma R. Kikon, Nitin Lo Kikon, Dandan N. Tanlao. United Theological College, Bangalore. Albin Thomas. Anoop KJ, PJ Raju Emmanuel, Blessin S, Ebenezer Samuel DS, Goods GP Matthew, Jampala Richards Emmanuel, Jomon Jose, Kolapudi Rosie, Samson J. Kumar M, Maddi Aaron Varakumar, Mulki Jose, Uday Kumar, Pintu M, Sadarla John Samuel, Samuel Sunit R, 
Thomas Daniel K. Tony Cora. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sirampur College, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Divinity, urging you <laughs> urging you so to walk and act that your conduct shall at all times glorify the name of our dear Lord Jesus Christ and worthily sustain the honor of your standing in this college.
May I request all the BD graduates to be seated. Please be seated. Before we proceed, I would like to announce one thing. The convocation ceremony is not yet over. Therefore, all the graduates, please don't leave the hall. Those who are outside, please come back. Bachelor of Divinity in Absentia. In addition to the persons here present on whom the degree of Bachelor of Divinity have been conferred, the persons as per the list submitted have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations relating to the degree. They being absent, I request you, sir, that the degree may be conferred on them in absentia. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admit these persons in absentia to the degree of Bachelor of Divinity. Bachelor of Christian Studies. Isol Theological College, Isol, none. Allahabad Bible Seminary, Allahabad. Allah by seminary, Bachelor of Christian Studies. Page number forty-six. John Alexander Singh, Andhra Christian Theological College, Hyderabad. Akala Narayana Bandekala Raja Rao B. Sudarshanamu B. Nela Prasanti Chintapale Kumar Prakash B. Punyashi Sudu Yenuvatala Sravani Purapati George William Kapati Dejaran There are more This one is Sati Yeah, please There are three more Shall I read it? Okay. Sadina Bali Samuel, Sudakar Udayagiri, Tikula Daya Uday Gumar, Tumupona Chandra Rao, Viraya Junala Kata, Bidil Bible College, Kundur, Bhuvaneswari, Pravin Kumar, Venkateshwara Rao. Church of the Cross Theological College, Dilankana. Shyam Prabhakar Bonigala. Kurugul Lutheran Theological College, Chennai. Sin Durairas. Jebasilan Ras. John Victor Ras. Martin X. Isaac. Rajendran P. Roy Solomon W. Kerala United Theological Seminary. Amos S.I. 
ബെൻരാജ് ജെ ജോയ് എസ് കെ ഗ്ലാസ്റ്റർ കനകരാജ് എം എസ് നോബിൽ രാജ് പി ആർ പുഷ്പ ജയൻ ജെ രജീഷ് ജോൺ വൈ സജു സി സജു ടി ആർ സ്റ്റുവർട്ട് ജോൺ and sunil kumar h lems institute of field evangelism madurai alexander dj d panni selvam anthony charlie b mary gobinath l j david ben jesse john sam arun prabhu y joy devasagayam p philippinen Regina A Madras Theological Seminary in College Chennai Esther Jagadishwari M John Joseph Savadi Rai D Maralem Theological College Saiha Derek Salai Sala We have only one student Masters College of Theology Viravali Jain Swarna Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary Madurai Samson Nesaraj Anand Raj Anita Ruth Arul Pushpalata Easter Raj Yes John Sundar Raj John Emmanuel uh, Paul Sundar Singh Paul Thomas Konrani P Samuel Denik uh, Satya Das uh, Shiva Sandy Victor Vinod Kumar Viras Manihandan Wellington William Xavier Derek Candidate Bright Link Bright Linkson Terang D Xavier Silverine Daisy Rani S Ishwar Ram Matlam Mukesh Kumar Sori Nazendra Kumar Jena Pickup Kumar Rinoj Davis M and Sandeep Kumar Punta By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sirampur College I admit you to the degree of bachelor of christian studies urging you so to walk and act that your conduct shall at all times glorify the name of our dear lord jesus christ and worthily sustain the honor of your standing in this college
Please be seated. Bachelor of Christian Studies in Absentia. In addition to the persons here present on whom the degree of Bachelor of Christian Studies have been conferred, the persons, as per the list submitted, have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations relating to the degree. They are being absent. I request you, sir, that the degree may be conferred on them in absentia. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Serampur <coughs> College, I admit these persons in absentia to the degree of Bachelor of Christian Studies. Bachelor of Theology. May I request all the graduates to come according to the sequence of your seat arrangement. Otherwise, the certificate will be misplaced here. You may get wrongly other certificate also. The candidates from the following affiliated colleges have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations relating to the degree of Bachelor of Theology. Andhra Christian Theological College, Hyderabad. Richard Salim Raju N. Vardhanapu Samuel. Delivery Santosh Babu. Gujarat United School of Theology, Ahmedabad. Gariya Raju, Kamit Jasil, Katara Prakash, Basava Jahil. Indian Theological Seminary, Avadi. Kim Barnabas, Maya Prabhagar, Sharmalayam. Methodist Bible Seminary, Vasat. Bariya Sujit Kumar Prabhupai. Orissa Christian Theological College, Kubalbor. Arjuna Bada Nayak. Nundu Munda Simanda Malik. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Serampur College, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Theology, urging you so to walk and act that your conduct shall at all times glorify the name of our dear Lord Jesus Christ and worthily sustain the honor of your standing in this college.
Please be seated. Bachelor of Theology in Absentia. In addition to the persons here present and whom the degree of Bachelor of Theology have been conferred, the persons as per the list submitted have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations relating to that degree. They being absent, I request you, sir, that the degree may be conferred on them in absentia. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admit these persons in absentia to the degree of Bachelor of Theology. Bachelor of Missiology, no one has come. Bachelor of Missiology in absentia. In addition to the persons here present and home the degree of, okay. The persons as per the list submitted have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations relating to that degree. They being absent, I request you, sir, that the degree may be conferred on them in absentia. By the virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admit these persons in absentia to the degree of Bachelor of Missiology. Bachelor, of, Bachelor in Bible Translation Studies in absentia. Bachelor, a degree of Bachelor in Bible Translation Studies. The persons as per the list submitted have completed all the requirements that are required by the statutes and regulations relating to that degree. They being absent, I request you, sir, that the degree may be conferred on them in absentia. By the virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admit these persons in absentia to the degree of Bachelor in Bible Translation Studies. I would like to announce one thing that um, during the recession, all the dignitaries, principals will go first, graduates and also the others, please remain be seated. All diploma in absentia. The persons as per the list submitted have completed all the requirements that are required as per the statutes and regulations relating to the diploma. I request you, sir, that the following diplomas may be conferred on them in absentia. Diploma in Clinical Pastoral Counseling, Diploma in Christian Studies, Diploma in Worship and Music. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Council of Sarampur College, I admit these persons in absentia to the following diploma courses. Diploma in Clinical Pastoral Counseling, Diploma in Christian Studies, Diploma in Worship and Music. It's a long day, isn't it? Very, very tired. Before I give my closing remarks, we are almost, we have come to the end. I would like to ask one question from, from BD graduates. Is there someone, right from the, when we announced BD student's name, graduate's name, right from the beginning till end, did someone stand all the time? Please raise your hands. Can you stand? All through you stood? All through? Give them a big hand. Thank you. Please be seated. I am so glad. You know because it was, I know that it was very very tiring. 
and uh, you imagine my condition. You know, once, in now, now also I'm very tired. Once uh, in a church, you know, the pastor said, my friends, I'm very tired today. If you don't mind, I'll sit and preach. So one young person stood and said, Pastor, we are also very tired of listening to you. We'll lie down and listen. <laughs> you know, so I, I don't think you will lie down as I give my closing remarks. And uh, I, I want to thank you all uh, for this, uh, uh, your presence and you have come all the way. And that was the reason I, I gave time to every each one of you and uh, for the photo and also the certificates. We give justification because since you have come all the way from far places and I'm sure that you know you had a good time here and you enjoyed and you are blessed. I'm very happy about that. Respected uh, recipients of the Doctor of Divinity, Honours Cause of the Father Dr. K. M. George and uh, Reverend H. Ramthenga, our Convocation Speaker Dr. Celia, President of the Senate Metropolitan Zacharias Maraprim, Principal of the Serampur College Dr. Van Sanglura, Registrar, Senators, and principal of affiliated colleges, representative of the Zerampur College Council, graduating class of 2023, parents and invited guests. Grace and peace be unto you all in the blessed name of our dear Lord Jesus Christ. I am humbled and privileged to be part of this 2023 convocation of this historical institution of Zerampur College. I do want to take this opportunity to thank the principal faculty student body of the Kerala United Theological Seminary Tremendrum for hosting this 2023 convocation ceremony and welcoming all of us to this beautiful place. Shall we give them a big hand? May I request the principal, sir, will you please kindly stand if you are here? Thank you, thank you all because your hospitality, everything was very meticulous and you really took care of us and we salute you and we just want to say thank you. At the outset, let me congratulate the graduating class of 2023. Indeed, it's an accomplishment and the Lord has honored your hard work and all the efforts. Now it is the time for you to move on from one phase of your life to the other. It is the time for you to take added responsibilities as you step out from the portals of this great heritage institution. You all may experience the divine guidance and strength in your kingdom ministry. Friends, you would agree that we are standing at an extremely crucial time in the history. We are compelled to make innumerable changes and are forced to adopt various new things all because of verifying situation and rapid transformations. The post-COVID era has brought all of us to our knees, impacting the community drastically. Having them experience profound trauma drove many to the point of attempting suicide. Overall, COVID-19 virus has made our future extra fragile and anxious. Besides, the challenges faced, global health concerns, the ongoing war in Ukraine, war between Hamas and Israel has further devastated the situation. The refugee problems, natural catastrophes and climate change, post-pandemic several devastating issues made people's life miserable. The climate is rapidly changing because of us exploiting the environment. The earth, our home, is suffering under human domain. Today, the younger generation is talking about climate emergency. Many species have become extinct because of the extreme weather. Let us admit that we have failed to take care of the creation and the planet Earth and that God has entrusted to with us. We have caused extra extreme weather increasing like, like increasing floods, droughts and storms, bringing food insecurity and natural disasters 
to the unprecedented levels the new digital technological revolution is another area radically sweeping the world and is changing our lives and work at a high speed even how we relate to one another artificial intelligence is another area the world is talking about it is a real change that the older generation finds difficult in coping with the changing situation in the digital revolution this new technology will bring challenges in many fields the pace of development of agricultural intelligence have been accelerated with unexpected rapidity provoking intense public debate on this new technology the continued development of this new technology could prove to be both beneficial and also dangerous this powerful technology is guided simply by the common good but by the financial interest of the society is most powerful unless we have enough rules in place this will have significant consequences on our theology and christian service in today's world social media has evolved into a dynamic at quick means of communication it has both pros and cons many violent and communal agitations are caused by false and fake news some people spread rumors for personal gain producing hatred animosity and despair in the church and society which is undesirable we all seem aware of the heartbreaking scenario in manipur and surrounding villages in the northeast in region many churches and church administrative school buildings are destroyed and countless people are killed thousands of people have been uprooted as a result of the worst violence india ever witnessed it was one of the most lethal and ferocious attacks in human history as srampur family we truly express our solidarity with all our brothers and sisters in manipur and i am at loss of word to express our condolences to the to these people many churches institution ngos and several other organizations have extended all kinds of support to the people in manipur my dear graduating class you have been sent into this world that is damaged and suffering for variety of causes the times are crucial the challenges are significant and the stakes are high many sections of the world are in instability conflict and strife normal life has been further affected by pandemic as i stated earlier in such circumstances i believe we must become change agents i am confident that each one of you will rise to the occasion by assimilating the wholesome values and characteristics inherited from sirampur heritage and carrying the mantle of the cause to which you have been called i am confident that we will be all sensitive enough to hear the voice of the shattered and hurting earth all i can say is that you should sharpen god given abilities and talents reignite the flame of god's gift and put them to full use so that you might be blessing in the kingdom of god what you are is god's gift to you what you become is your gift to god says hans uh, balthasar what we construct and make my dear graduating class defines who we are who we are if we create turmoil and confusion we must accept accountability for that chaos to fulfill our duties all we need is devotion courage conviction and boldness we may find ourselves on a lonely path on an uphill assignment with a slew of a few of obstacles let us not give up let us take the proper path and stick with uh, stick with it until we get to our destination change comes from managing the journey rather than announcing the destination writes william bridges our noble lord has called us to fight the good fight of faith stay focused on one road otherwise every road will lead you nowhere henry kissinger advises when we are gone leave something worthwhile and remember 
that we can't take it with us we all will have to pass it along today we bear the burden of carrying the mantle of this magnificent sirampur history into world fraught with uh, challenges in carrying out your duties and responsibilities my friends pay attention to god's quiet and tender summons and heavenly voice it is now time for us to give and contribute always try to build rather than demolish to give voice to the voiceless and and to stand up truth and justice today my dear friends the modern world has advanced by leaps and bounds our scientific and technological might has surpassed the spiritual powers we have guided missiles but we have misguided soldiers as we enter the ministry we are charged with working for and with such misled souls in order to win them back with the tenacity please recall martin luther junior king words the church is not the master of the state nor the slave or servant of the state but rather the conscience of the state as a result what you say or do represent the state's mentality as in authority let us work and service via the sirampur college this emanate the saint and fragments of jesus christ throughout the human world may you all be enlightened and filled with the holy spirit's power which will give us strength wisdom and conviction to serve my friends i wish you all the gifts of good health the wealth of contentment and the relationship of faithfulness in life god bless you all richly and may you all carry the fragrance of jesus christ all that you do in the future and wherever you go i extend my best wishes and prayers to all of you with my richest blessings and prayers shall we all stand for the doxology
the lord bless you and keep you the lord make his shine face shine upon you and be gracious unto you the lord lift up the countenance and give you peace the peace of god which passeth all understanding guard your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of christ the grace of our dear lord jesus christ the love of god and fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us and especially with this graduating class and with the senate of sarampur college and with all its affiliated colleges now and forevermore session please uh, stand and uh, from the master and those official will leave and followed by the principals then the uh,